dawn, and all the females in the area have mated and moved on. Hynerpeton seems to have missed his chance. The only attention he's attracting comes from the dark waters of the lake. A female finally answers his call, and the male seizes the opportunity. Amphibian eggs are soft, and their young have gills, not lungs, so they must be laid in water, where amphibians are most vulnerable. Hyneria can attack like a killer whale after a seal only just missing her prey. But she has remarkably powerful fins. And takes the male by surprise. The end for this Hynerpeton but the amphibians are about to find a way to leave the dangers of the water behind for good. The key to their future success lies in changing their eggs. They evolve a hard waterproof casing which protects the young inside from the drying sun so they can be laid on land. The babies will hatch out fully developed, air-breathing, and independent. They are the first ever true vertebrate land lovers. The very first reptiles. But as they move inland, they'll face an ancient enemy, more deadly than ever before. The arthropods are back. Next time on Walking with Monsters, we enter the world of killer bugs, from huge flesh-eating spiders to three-meter millipede relatives. And we meet the first giant reptiles, our strange sailback ancestors, who face their toughest enemy yet. Each other.